Murray Rothbard was an influential economist, historian, and political theorist who was known for his libertarian views. He wrote extensively on topics such as economics, history, ethics, and political philosophy. One of Rothbard's most famous works is his book, The Mystery of Banking, which was published in 1983. In this book, Rothbard argues that the banking system as it exists today is a fraud, and that it is responsible for much of the economic instability and inequality in society. Rothbard's central argument is that the current banking system is based on a fractional reserve system, in which banks only hold a fraction of the deposits they receive in reserve, and lend out the rest. Rothbard argues that this practice is inherently fraudulent, because it allows banks to create money out of thin air, by lending out money that they do not actually have. According to Rothbard, this system creates an artificial expansion of credit, which leads to booms and busts in the economy. He argues that the Federal Reserve, which is responsible for setting monetary policy in the United States, exacerbates these problems by manipulating interest rates and expanding the money supply. Rothbard's book has been influential in the libertarian and Austrian economic movements, and has been praised for its detailed analysis of the banking system and its implications for the economy. However, it has also been criticized by some economists for its extreme views and its rejection of many mainstream economic principles. Under the fractional reserve banking system, banks are only required to hold a fraction of their deposits in reserve, which means that they are able to lend out a significant portion of the money that has been deposited with them. When a bank makes a loan, it does not lend out money that it actually has in its vaults, but instead it creates a deposit in the borrower's account, which is essentially new money that did not exist before. This process of creating new money through lending is facilitated by the fact that most money in the economy is not physical cash, but rather electronic deposits in banks. When a bank creates a new deposit in a borrower's account, it effectively creates new electronic money that can be spent just like physical cash. This new money enters the economy and can be used to buy goods and services, pay off debts, or make new investments. Critics of the fractional reserve banking system argue that this ability of banks to create new money out of thin air is inherently fraudulent, because it allows banks to profit from lending money that they do not actually have. They argue that this practice can lead to a distortion of the economy, as the expansion of credit and money supply can cause inflation, asset bubbles, and financial instability. Proponents of the fractional reserve system, on the other hand, argue that it is necessary for banks to be able to create new money through lending, in order to facilitate economic growth and provide liquidity to businesses and individuals. They argue that the benefits of the system outweigh the risks, and that proper regulation and oversight can help to mitigate the potential downsides of the system. Under a fractional reserve banking system, banks are only required to hold a fraction of the deposits they receive in reserve, typically around 10%. This means that if a bank receives $100 in deposits, it is only required to hold $10 in reserve, and can lend out the remaining $90. The problem, according to Rothbard, is that this system allows banks to create new money out of thin air. When a bank lends out money that it does not actually have, it effectively creates new money in the economy. For example, if a bank lends out $90 of the $100 it received in deposits, and the borrower then spends that money, it effectively creates an additional $90 in the economy that did not exist before. This process can continue indefinitely, as the borrower's spending creates new deposits in other banks, which can in turn be lent out to create more money. This expansion of credit can lead to booms and busts in the economy, as people become overextended with debt and eventually default on their loans. Rothbard argues that this system is fraudulent because it allows banks to create money out of thin air, and to profit from the interest on the loans they make. He also argues that it creates an unfair distribution of wealth, as the banks and their shareholders benefit from the profits created by the expansion of credit, while the general public bears the risks and costs of the inevitable busts that follow. While some economists dispute Rothbard's characterization of fractional reserve banking as a fraud, it is generally accepted that banks do create money through the process of lending, and that this can have significant effects on the economy. This is for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. The information provided is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. Please consult a financial professional before making any financial decisions. Please, comment, like and subscribe.